Hello everyone. As part of Middlesbrough Council's Green Monk Takeover, Monty and I have been asked to read you a special story. We've chosen Somebody Crunched Colin by Sarah Roberts. Down in the leafy Greek garden, Colin lay scrunched on the ground. He longed to be like the sweet flowers, to catch someone's eye and be found. Animals hovered around him as his scent drifted on the fresh air. Colin smelled very alluring, but no one knew why he was there. You see, Colin didn't belong on the floor. Out of nowhere, a bandit came creeping in a sneaky black mask with a striped tail. Quietly she crawled down the tree trunk and followed the smell of the trail. She ducked in and out of the shadows, her little legs running so fast with her nose in the air as she travelled until she found Colin at last. The raccoon ran away, touching Colin. She wanted to try a small taste, when suddenly Colin went crackle and the masked bandit dropped him with haste. Colin sat wrinkled and crinkled in a jumble of crispy brown leaves. Inquisitive butterflies hovered as his tasty scent sailed to on the breeze. But Colin didn't belong in the leaves. Before long, a big grizzly stranger was searching for something to eat. His nose sniffed and snuffled round Colin as he smelt a most flavoursome treat. The bear poured at Colin and grunted. His shiny snack seemed very odd. He scrunched him and crunched him and struggled to munch him, then gave up and off the bear, bear trod. Colin felt more lost than ever as the wind made him shudder and shiver. A sudden great gust blew and grabbed him and pushed him splash into the river but Colin didn't belong in the water. He whirled and he swirled with the current, twisting and turning so fast. Then Colin got into a tangle when a slippery swimmer sped past. Though he was soggy and crumpled, Colin still sparkled and shone. And just like flowers he admired so, the allure of his smell carried on. But Colin didn't belong on the shore. Colin glinted and caught more attention as a sharp-eyed collector flew by. Swiftly she swooped down to grab him and lifted him up to the sky. Colin now flickered and fluttered as he drifted back down to the ground where a furry friend bounded straight over and barked at what he had found. Wagging his tail excitedly, he slobbered and sniffed with delight. The dog leant in to clip Colin and his shiny wet nose got stuck tight. His shaggy fur shook as he panicked. The frightened dog let out a whine. Unable to breathe, he didn't feel good, but a kind hand reached down just in time. Looking at Colin, a friendly voice said, You don't belong here on the floor. There's a special bin here where I'll place you, so you can be useful once more. Back in the leafy green garden, with the song of the birds and the bees, the child picked up Colin the watering can and they watered the flowers and trees. The end. Well, what a lovely story about how Colin the crisp packet ended up being recycled and became a watering can. 
You can recycle your crisp packets. A lot of supermarkets will take them. So Google where to, can I recycle my crisp packets to find out where you can take them locally. And if you like reading stories, why not pop into Ackland Community Hub and Library and pick up some of our new story leaflets that are all about Monty and his adventures helping to look after the environment. Bye!